The actor who is said to have yelled at Rebecca Ferguson during their time together on set has been the subject of intense fan conjecture. After how one absolute idiot of a co-star treated her on the set of a previous movie, the 40-year-old actress declared she would never work with them again. She made it clear that she wasn't referring to Tom Cruise or Hugh Jackman, with whom she had starred in Mission Impossible and The Greatest Showman, respectively. Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt, her previous co-stars, have also ruled themselves out. The actors Ewan McGregor, with whom she co-starred in Dr. Sleep, 2019, Jake Gyllenhaal, with whom she co-starred in Life, 2017, Michael Fassbender, with whom she co-starred in The Snowman, 2017, and Hugh Grant, with whom she co-starred in Florence Foster Jenkins, 2016, are currently the subject of speculation. Fans have been excitedly speculating on which former co-star Rebecca was referring to on X slash Twitter. Some speculated that Ewan was the actor who had abused and belittled Rebecca Ferguson, writing, I am pretty sure the actor was Ewan McGregor. I think I figured out who yelled at Rebecca Ferguson. Another person wrote, I detest him more than Ewan McGregor. Rebecca Ferguson was accused by a insider a few months ago of treating the Dr. Sleep cast and CRW badly. Before Dune 2, you could tell it was a hit piece. You guys are forgetting the most obvious one, a third person said. In the film Dr. Sleep, Rebecca Ferguson co-starred with Obi-Wan, also known as Ewan McGregor. Some wrote, My money is on Hugh Grant in the Who Offended Rebecca Ferguson sweepstakes. Others concentrated on Hugh Grant. Someone else commented, saying, People are crazy trying to figure out who screamed at Rebecca Ferguson on set once, even though Hugh Grant is standing right there. Hugh Grant is notorious for being a bit testy and getting upset on set so I wonder if that's who Rebecca Ferguson was talking about, a fan commented. We need to know who did this to Rebecca Ferguson, wrote another. A brief Google search reveals that Hugh Grant is highly favored. Another commenter had suspicions about Jake Gyllenhaal, saying, Pretty sure Jake Gyllenhaal screamed at Rebecca Ferguson. I find it hard to see Ryan Reynolds or The Rock making nasty insults to her. For some reason, I'm convinced that Rebecca Ferguson is talking about Jake Gyllenhaal, stated another commenter. She is 100% talking about Jake Gyllenhaal, a third person said. Jake has even been caught with this Rebecca Ferguson situation, another person wrote. All we need is for someone to identify who the real culprit is. Rebecca stated on the rain with Josh Smith that she will never collaborate with one. Complete idiot of a co-star. Again because of the way they handled her on the set of a prior movie. She recalled a time when the person was acting very insecurely and angrily because they were unable to release the scenes. And I believe that I was yelled at because I was feeling so exposed and uneasy. However, since this individual ranked first on a call sheet, I had no safety net. Nobody then had my back. And as I left the set, I would cry. Rebecca reported the co-star asking her questions like, You call yourself an actor? And, What the F asterisk asterisk K is this? In front of the entire team while they were working together. I just broke there she remarked. Although Rebecca stated she didn't have the producer's support in that circumstance, she hoped to. Rebecca asserted that the following day, after becoming the target of her co-star's ire, she stepped in and spoke up for the first time. Leave my set, she said to her co-star. I recall feeling so afraid, she remarked. I told this person to F off after giving them a quick glance. My goal is to reach a tennis ball. I hope to never see you again. Rebecca stated that because the actor in question, known only as Number One, had to be present on set, the producers informed her that she could not do that to him. The co-star could turn around, and the actress would perform to the back of their heads, but she refused to back down. Yes, I did, she replied, and I recall thinking at the time, I was really afraid. After the scene, according to Rebecca, she went to the director and demanded to know why that behavior was tolerated. You're right. The director remarked, she continued. I am not looking after other people. 
I'm attempting to win this person over. Due to how fragile it is. Though it took me a long time to realize that, it was fantastic from that point on. I've performed since I was 16, so it's within the last 10 or 12 years. Rebecca also discussed the insightful lessons she has gained from collaborating with Timothy Chalamet and Dune, Part 1 and Part 2 during the podcast. You know, I'm just having fun and doing a lot of different things, she remarked. He has items in his arms. I can still recall the times when I would laugh and enjoy myself, even though I knew it wasn't doing him any good. Thus, I believe that observing one of our amazing indie actors in action on a major film taught me a lot. The respect that you need to hold for everyone, she continued. I have gained more knowledge from him without him realizing it.